Attention! This video is intended as an overview to installing Thermomass System CIP insulation components and is not intended to take the place of written instructions from Thermomass. For more information and detailed instruction on any of the procedures demonstrated in this video, please contact us at 800-232-1748 or visit us online at www.thermomass.com. Introducing a new technology designed exclusively for cast-in-place concrete wall construction. Thermomass System CIP. System CIP creates an insulated concrete sandwich wall that meets or exceeds insulation code requirements and provides greater thermal efficiency at a competitive price. System CIP is comprised of rigid insulation and Thermomass TL series fiber composite connectors. The TL series connector assemblies have remarkable strength. 120,000 PSI tensile, durability, corrosion resistance, chemical resistance, and a low thermal conductivity. Many states and local building codes now require concrete walls to achieve high R values and provide continuous insulation. System CIP is a complete system for constructing edge-to-edge -edge insulated cast-in-place concrete walls. System CIP provides a breakthrough opportunity for concrete construction that will make a significant impact on the way concrete structures are built. Instead of placing insulation on the exterior or interior of the wall, our system sandwiches the insulation between two concrete layers, forming a more energy efficient and durable wall. By utilizing system CIP, rigid insulation with a high long-term R value, and concrete with a thermal mass effect can provide an equivalent wall R value performance, which is several times greater than calculated by traditional means. Depending on the climate, a wall insulated with system CIP can have a dynamic R value equivalent of R16 to R31 and meet all building code requirements for continuous insulation. The cast-in-place contractor can create energy-efficient, cost-competitive, high-quality, insulated concrete walls utilizing existing forms and equipment. As a cast-in-place concrete wall contractor, you've invested heavily in your forms and equipment, not to mention years of experience and training. Increase the value of your forms and give your customer the best possible insulated wall that meets or exceeds all R value code requirements. And best of all, System CIP is remarkably easy to install. Vertical reinforcing bars can be cast into the footing or later drilled and doweled into the footing. Begin the assembly of System CIP by inserting the TL series fiber composite connectors into the folding insulation corner sheet. Insert the fiber composite connector into the spool assembly and turn to lock. Repeat this process until all spools have composite connectors installed. This installation should be repeated on additional quantities of insulation sheets before setting the forms. Starting with an outside form corner, place it on the footing and then fold the insulation sheet and place it against the outside form. Place the inside form corner against the folded insulation sheet. Next, place the exterior form wall against the outside corner. Install form ties and pins. Place the inside form panel against the inside form corner. Install locking pins. Slide the insulation sheet with the fiber composite connectors in between the two formed panels. Install form ties and repeat the process. Fillers or fractions can be installed in the same process but must be cut from standard insulation sheets. 
if there are less than two fiber composite connectors in a filler or fraction sheet. Then the joint between the full sheet and the filler fraction sheet must be either taped or be adhered to the full sheet by structural foam adhesive. Attach interior-exterior electrical boxes and conduits to the forms as required, using a cover plate and self-tapping screws to the forms. Check with a project electrician for electrical locations and box sizes. Reinforcing can be placed at the time of setting forms. However, it can be placed after the forms have been set by sliding it across the form ties into the forms. This will vary with each project. Now you're ready for the final check. The forming contractor should inspect all components for compliance with the project layout and specifications in preparation for concrete placement. Consult your concrete manufacturer for complete information on types of concrete mixtures and their proper use to ensure ease of placement and consolidation. A slump of 8 is recommended with an aggregate size not to exceed 3 quarters of an inch. The slump should be obtained by the use of concrete additives, not water. The insulation can rise in the initial pouring of the wall. A simple solution is to have the person placing the concrete stand on the insulation during the initial drop of concrete. An alternative would be to place multiple form ties over the top of the insulation and secure with pins and wedges. When placing the concrete, a differential head of no more than one to two feet is to be maintained at all times to keep the insulation from shifting. Concrete placement is intended to begin at corner locations and continue evenly around the perimeter. At the first corner, you should remember that the inside corner distance is shorter than the outside corner. You will need to move the pump to the outside wythe to keep the levels of concrete the same. All concrete must be consolidated properly by the use of rotting or vibration. When the concrete has cured enough to float sill anchor bolts, embed the units according to project specifications and building code requirements. When the form finish is of desired quality, a latex-based texture and paint can be applied directly to the concrete surface. If the quality of the form finish is less than desired, the wall units may be finished with drywall, applied with furring strips or anchors supplied by Thermomass. This application meets building code requirements because the insulation in the wall cavity provides the necessary R values and vapor retarder requirements. Thermomass System CIP provides a high efficiency insulated concrete wall that provides the cast in place contractors, general contractors, designers, and owners benefits such as a wall that meets or exceeds all R-value code requirements. A system that reduces construction time. Superior energy efficiency. Structural performance benefits during significant natural events such as hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods. A significantly lower potential for moisture condensation and therefore is less likely to contribute to the formation of mold and mildew fire performance benefits, and sound dampening benefits. Thermomass System CIP offers a breakthrough opportunity for concrete construction that will make a significant impact on the way concrete structures are built. Thermomass has a long history in concrete construction, and we believe that System CIP is a superior product for both the contractor and the owner alike. Add to that Thermomass's technical expertise and sales support, and we can create a truly better way to build high-quality concrete structures. To learn more about System CIP, give us a call and take the next step towards the future of concrete construction.